Her temperature is really high. Okay, so what do we do? So she has to see a doctor. We need to send her to the hospital right now. Please, I need to rest. Please, all right? I need to sleep. I, I'm not the only one that has a doctor. Please. Eric, me be. Eric, please wake up. Oh. What, what is this? Eh? What is it? Leave me. I don't believe I'm shouting. Eric. Are you safe? All right, just leave me alone. Just go. All right? Eric, the hospital, please! What Eric, hospital? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! She needs to sleep! What do you want me to do that? Eh? What do you want me to do? I need to sleep! Can't I just sleep? But she needs to see a doctor! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get, get out! If you cannot be here, and shut up! Get out! Let me sleep! Please! Eric! Sweetie! Are you okay? Is it like fine? No. My head hurts. It's so bad. Listen, you'll be fine, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. You'll be fine, okay? Please, take me to the hospital, Mom. Where is Dad? Dad was too weak from yesterday's toil, and so he's still in bed. But listen, let me get you some pain reliever for your headache, okay? Hospital card. I can't find it anywhere. Are you with it? No, I don't have it. No. But why are you looking for it? Because she's sick, and we have to take her to the hospital. Again? Yes. You know what? This one, you should just leave me alone. All right? Just please. Just. I'm not ready. Okay. I. I have. I have. I have an important customer. I have to catch up with. I. I don't. Please. 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 Eric. What? That's our daughter. What has come over you? Tiredness. You don't think we should be frustrated. This has been going on for years, Fina. From one sickness to the other. For how long are we going to keep living like this? From one hospital to the next, from one doctor to the next. I'm tired. And I say enough is enough. Eric, I understand, but we can't just give up on her. It's not her making that sickness will not let go of her. Well, is it my making? Or is it yours? I'm tired. Eric. Look, I, Eric, let's not let, let's not despair, okay? Let's just keep praying. How have we not prayed? Fiona, how have we not prayed? How have we not fasted? Yet God keeps doing this to us. How? Aren't you tired? 
I'm tired, man. I'm tired. They say child is supposed to be a blessing, right? But Cleo is a curse. What? Yes. Eric, be mindful of what you say. I don't care anymore. No I don't care. I think it's time God took a stance on this matter. All right? If he's going to heal her, let him do so. Else, he should just take her. I'm tired. Eric! I'm selling, I'm selling this, I'm selling this in low cost price. It's mm because -hmm. you told me you, you tell your fellow friends. Yes, of to, course. To come and be buying from They will me. come, they will come. How about? Hey. So your hair, Eric. Ah, yeah, what is it? Eric, your hair. What is it? Eric, I've been calling you, you've not been picking my calls. Oh, okay. Must have. Phone must be in the car. Doesn't mean. You left your phone in the car. Yes, and I left my phone in the car. What is it? What is it? Eric, you abandoned your wife and your sick child at the hospital. For God's sake, who behaves like you, Eric? I don't understand. Is is that 
Is that why you're turning red? Is that why you're shouting? Eh? What is it? Eric, I just got back from the hospital where your sick child is admitted. Okay. Your wife called me and told me you abandoned them, that I should come to their rescue. Uh huh. On getting to the hospital, I met your child at the brink of death, and the doctor requested for immediate blood transfusion. But where was the father of the child? You were not there, you were you are here doing nothing. Eric, if I hadn't come to that hospital, your child would have died all because of your negligence. Mm. Is it the first time that she's undergoing blood transfusion? Or have you, did you bother to ask them then, me as the father, what have I not done? You didn't bother. You burst into my shop, you started shouting at me. Eric, I thought this was a cross you were crying with so much joy. Why complain now? Oh, so I shouldn't complain. I should not complain. Do you know how I feel? Do you know what I have gone through? Huh? Eh? Do you know what I have, how many times I have cried and asked myself, what have I done that God has forsaken me? What if, if he can't cure that child, then let him take the child. You understand? If she cannot get healed, then what? I can't kill myself. Eric! Don't Eric me, please. I'm tired. You bust into my shop. You haven't even asked me if I'm in sales today. You're talking about one child that wants to die. She wants to die. Let her body fucking die. I'm tired. How am I even friends with you, Eric? Uh, uh, please, please, please. If you have nothing else to discuss, please, I beg. That door is still open. Could have mercy on you. And, and you too. Don't you have blood? You can give her now. After speaking with the doctor to get something for us to eat. I don't have to lie to people. I know he didn't come. He's tired of my sickness. I'm not the cause of this mom. I wish to be free from this sickness. Can God ever heal me from this? Yes. Yes, God will heal you. You only need to be patient with him, okay? And let me tell you something, Cleo. Daddy loves you. He loves you so very much. He loves and cares about you. That much I can confidently tell you. Then where is he, Mom? I have just 40k for this. Okay, my, bro my brother, you cannot be seen. <laughs> look, at, no, look, at, look at what you're pricing. No, look at it first. I know they are quality watches. No, right. th this is not copy. I don't sell copy. Oh, if if you go on the internet now, you check the serial number, everything is the same. I, I don't sell copy. Say, I would have loved to buy it your own price. Okay, but that's what I have. I just have 40k for this. For, so, for, 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 for one or for the two? For the two of them. 40k. Okay, take the 260. Normally, I sell 40, 40 for one. If you don't want to sell, I can check. My, my, my brother, my brother, hold on, hold on. 
look, look at the quality of what you're pricing. Look at the quality of what you're pricing. Look, it's because I have pressing financial needs. That's why I'm selling at, at 60, 60K. But look, even the 60K is below my cost price. Are you so how can I? Are you taking my price? 40,000. If you're ready, I can pay now. You have your rates, right? I don't have cash with me now. You can just take it to me. Hmm. I want to buy from you, really. I really want to buy from you. Just accept for my price. Clearly, you've killed me. So, my brother put something in my let me sell for you, please. I really want to buy from you. If you don't want to sell, I can just go to the next shop. Okay. So how much did you say you're paying again? Forty thousand for the two. Hi. Hi. Please, I'm working with time. Uh, oh sorry, I'm I'm sorry, it's just that hey. I know we have a Oh cat. Yeah. Um <laughs> it's a great business. <laughs> company has not got into that. But however, um, if we just get to the gate now, there's an ATM machine there. Okay. Yes. So, are you going with me or? Of course, I have. <laughs> I'll yeah. go. I'll go. Pack it. Pack it. Okay. So, do you want uh, you want to pay me first, and then we'll come back and get it? No, just to. pack it. Just come with it. Oh, okay. Just hold on one second, please. The special, my brother. But when we get there, you just help me put something. Even if it's five thousand, uh, maybe, maybe that I use. Maybe next time. Okay. Okay. You know, with this price scarcity, even when these people are bringing these things to us, they charge us extra for delivery. You know? Yeah, I'll tell you a plan. So we sell a time for time to kill you. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Well, let me help you. Doctor, please, you need to help me. Please help me. I can't come up with the hospital bills here. I need to go out there and hustle for it. It's okay, but your child remains here until you come up with the money. Doctor, no, please, no. Let me go out with her. Let me let me leave with her. I promise you, I will I will bring the money back. I promise. But please let me take her with me. Well, um, this is a hospital, and it has a policy made by the management, which I'm not part of. I'm only a worker here, so for now, I don't think there is nothing I can do. Please, please help me. Excuse me, I have a patient Do 
you have an idea how to hire her? Of this whole thing. Look, this is the last time I'm, I'm going to spend money on her medical bills. I'm tired. I am tired. You have to come to the shop and see what's going on there. The shop is almost empty. I know. I'm beginning to owe people because I have to keep up with, that, with her medical bills. Having a child, is it a blessing or a curse? But am I meant to be going forward or backwards? Trust me, I understand. I just... I wish that God would bless me with a job so that I can be assistant as well. I hope you do know that the essence of this marriage is not for us to spend all that we have labored for on her incorrigible illness. You know that, right? I know. But what can we do? Oh, I don't know what you can, you can do, but this is what I think we should do. Go and tell her. To tell her one difference to leave her alone. No. Eric. What? How can you call our daughter an Obanji? I, I, I didn't call her an Obanji. What? Let's just say I'm correct about her being an Obanji. Tell her to tell her fellow Obanjis to leave her alone. Because I'm done. Oh yes, I am I'm done. I'm tired. I know you're tired. I know, I know you were sounding like this because you're tired. Do you want sex? Sex? Mm -hmm. Do broke men have sex? I, I don't understand. What are we going to be celebrating? Look, if you want to make me happy, then let me have a refund of all the money that I have spent on her medical bills. That would... What? Sex what? How am I going to have an erection when I'm not happy? Is your leg broken? Or did you vomit on your bed? Or is your stomach beating you? Or your eyes are about to fall off? Which one? What, what is it? What do you want? Nothing. I'm okay. I'll be going back to school today. Um, I really missed a lot. Okay. It is good that you know you're lagging behind. Go to school. But it's not my fault, Dad. It's my fault. I never said that. Why are you being so rude to me all the time? It's not your fault. I pay your school fees, so I'm speaking English or speaking English. What do you want? Because this thing you're doing here is, is, is not the reason you came here. So tell me, what part of your body is broken? I need to be taken to the hospital. What do you want? My school fees is overdue and my teacher won't be happy if I don't return to school without it. Ah. My account is empty and God will not be happy if I kill myself because I have to save you. Tell your teacher that I don't have money. Eh? Tell them I don't have money when you were busy falling sick, morning, afternoon, night, day in, day out, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Friday, falling sick. You did not think that I would need money to take care of you. Eh? Why have you come into my life to cause me so much pain? What, you want to kill me? Look at me now, you have killed me! Look, I don't know where you're from. And I don't know the people that sent you to me, but tell them that you didn't find me because me, I'm not ready to spend one more dime on your helmet. The hospital bill because I was trying to question that who else would have paid after I paid. Well, I'm just asking, you know, um, I know it's not easy. You need to go and I'm helping you to find me. I'm telling you, I'm tired. I'm honestly tired. I think God should just step in and decide that girl's feet because I'm tired. I can't keep spending money like this. I'm tired. I'm running dry. Um, 
See, I understand what you're going through perfectly. But remember Job in the Bible. Oh, you can't talk to that. Am I Job? Do I have Job's patience? Must he get that bad? Must he get that bad before God steps in and, and heals this girl? Ah, talking, you are telling me Job. Am I Job? But I have no idea what I'm going through. That girl has hurt me so much. She's hurt me so much. And sometimes I, I just wish I was childless. Honest. Eric! Don't Eric me, I beg. Why I talk my mind? Ah! If God will not heal her, then let God take her. Let me find peace. Let me, yes, let me find peace. I, I, I need to begin to leave. Oh, leave this topic, oh. Oh, leave this topic, I beg. Free me. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know the half of it. I'm beginning to sell off wares at my, at my place. Why? Because I need to raise money at all times. My wife is sitting down there doing nothing. People come to buy wares at my place. I sell below cost price. Ken. So am I going forward? Am I going backwards? I mean, which way to decide? Maybe they should be. Let me, let me, let me look at it. I'm talking about one girl that doesn't want to be a Just, just go straight to But I still think you need to trust God. Okay. Free me now. Cleo, come on, talk to me. Why are you crying? Mom, am I an Obanji? What? Where did you hear such a word? Dad said I'm an Obanji and that's why I get sick all the time. No, he didn't say that. He did, Mom. Mom, how can I stop being an Obanji? Listen to me. Stop saying that, okay? You are not an Obanji. You are a child of God. Don't ever say that again. About my school fees, Dad said he doesn't have money. Well, I believe soon he'll come up with something, okay? Just be patient. Now let's go and get you ready for school. Now, Lord, calm down. Calm down, eh? I don't like what you're doing. I've told you, I'll pay you. I will pay you. You know I'm usually not like this. I'll pay. Look, I am running out of patience. You keep promising and promising. I'm going to rob the shop now. Wow. <laughs> you know you cannot do that now. You can't do that. Did you just say I won't do it? Uh, Did you just say I won't do it? No, what I'm saying is, is we, we, have, we have agreed now that, 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 that I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Then uh, pay me my money. Pay me my money! You're, you're shouting now. You're, Lord, you're shouting. You're embarrassing me. People are looking at us. It's not fair. Tomorrow I will have something, something to say about me. It's so nice. You know, I'm not, this guy. I'm not, I'm not a tenant that owes. Uh, it's just because I'm going through a difficult patch. But I will pay. I will pay. But when I came here, I used to pay ahead of time now. Young man, I don't care. All I want is my money. And I'm giving you one extra month. Then you will see how I will behave. If you're not ready for business, let others who are serious, let them come in and leave. Only best or she. Can you imagine this landlord? Oh? Why are people like this? Eh? So suddenly now, because things are a bit rough now, I, I, you, you come and be talking to me anyhow. When, when I came here, she, I was paying two, three years ahead of time. Uh -huh, hello? 
Eh? What is it? Okay, so what do you want me to do now? What do you want me to do from here now? What do you feel like? What is it? What do you mean why am I shouting? Why, why shouldn't I shout? If your child wants to die, now let the child die. What's my own? I mean, get out of my phone. I mean, go to hell. I'm I, 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 I here complaining that I haven't paid my rent. You're calling me to, to, to tell me that, that, that you stupid child child this block. Upstairs, go to the bathroom, okay. Mm -hmm. um, is he unhappy with us? No, 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 no. He probably just had a hectic day at work. Finish your food, eat up so I can give you your drugs. What is this? It's planting birds. Of course I'm not blind, I can see it. How many times have I warned you to stop? Give me porridge. If you're not frightened until you're fright. What is all this? What, what, what is this? If you're not frightened until you fight, if you, 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 or you just make beans and ripe plantain. Not a ripe plantain. I'm sorry, Eric. I was only considering our daughter who's lacking iron. But I added vegetables. I, I don't care, alright? I don't like it. I don't care. I don't care what your daughter wants. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. I want to eat good food. What is this now? Well, I'm out of here. I, mean, I, I, I can get you a cup of coffee. Really? You can't leave on an empty stomach. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, what is it? I want it. I think you're still having gastric issues. I'm going to get you cleaned up, okay? Why would God forbid it? I feel that. Why would God forbid it when he has been giving me signs for weeks now? He's been flashing on the dashboard showing me that, that I need to change engine oil. But I said no. Since I don't have money, let me wait a while. You know, probably to the end of the month. And now this. Oh, come on, Eric. But engine oil is not that expensive. It's not a stupid question. Huh? If you don't know what to say, can't you just shut up? Huh? I've been working hard every day, but you and your daughter have vowed that I'm not going to I'm not going to save a dime for my hard earned money. No. Now this is the situation that I have to. Are you, are you happy now? Come on, Eric. Why are you suddenly sounding as though Cleo is not yours and it's only mine? That girl cannot be mine. That girl cannot be mine. God cannot give me something that will cause me so much pain as that. All right. So you owe me some kind of explanation as to how that girl came into my life. Look at me. 
Now I have to go out and go ask my fellow men for money to fix my car. You think it makes me happy? Do you think that this life that the both of you are making me live is a life that I planned for myself? I did not bargain for this kind of misfortune. I did not bargain for this kind of misfortune. fear of him. It's not your fault that your child is sick all the time. And it's not the child's fault or his. He refused to understand that. He curses the day he had that little girl. He now calls her my daughter and not his. I know he's angry and frustrated, spending so much money on the girl, but it's nobody's fault. That's what he does call to me. Sonia, do you know he even called her an Obanji? Uh uh. Is it the same Eric we're talking about? The same Eric, my husband. He's changed so much this past few weeks. He complains that he can't continue anymore. Sonia, you know he abandoned us at the hospital the last time. And it was his friend Ken who came to our aid. That's very sad and grossly unfair of him. Tell me about it. God can test a man's faith with such things and see how his faith is wavering. Hey, oh, my goodness, it's, it's a pity, but you have to be strong. You have to be strong for your child. You have strength and hope of surviving these trying times. Please don't desert her, please. It's hard. It's so hard and I'm trying. I'm really, really trying, but it's so hard. And considering the fact that I'm without a job, it's affecting me. I understand. Trust me, I do. I understand. But see, there's no situation. One can find him or herself that God is not aware of. No situation at all. You'll be fine, okay? Your child will be fine. The sickness will stop. But you need perseverance, lots of it, and God will see you through. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much for your soul lift words. So tell me, how's your vision trip? It was fine. Let's talk about you. I'm just I'm, I don't know. I'm still shocked seeing you. <laughs> because I remember the last time we spoke, you told me you'd never come back here. Never again. That you're not coming back here. <laughs> I know, I did say. I did say that, but I changed my mind after six years. Ha, <sighs> what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah, so what happened with your car? Ah, uh, don't mind me, I just um I changed a new engine and then I just you know went there now to change a busted tire. Kawahala. Oh wow, your engine knocked. Ah, it was my fault too. It was my fault. The poor man <laughs> That's some serious stuff. I tell you. Oh well, so you're married now? Ha <laughs> story for another day. I'm married, but that's that's my biggest mistake ever. I am I'm regretting it now. Oh wow. I'm regretting it. <laughs> Eric, I told you, didn't I? I told you I I, I don't believe in this marriage thing. But you insisted. You're right, I guess. Right. Well, what's done is done now. 
you have to face it as a man. Or just go to my place so that you can meet your daughter. We didn't even ask her. What? Yes. You're very mean. Why are you looking so sharp? Welcome to my humble abode. Let's see what's humble about this place. This, this is really nice. Really? Yeah, it's it's beautiful and, and you don't cozy. Think it's quite small. Ah, oh, come on, it's excellent. Look at it. It's it's cozy. It's, Are you it's sure? nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Thank you very much. Please we'll sit down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can I offer you? My daughter. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Very good one. Okay, but you're gonna have to wait a little while because she's not back from school yet. Oh, okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna get you a glass of juice to relax your digestive nerves. Okay. While we await the return of your daughter, is that okay? I don't mind at all. You still the clown you always been. I, I can't help. <laughs> I can't help. You don't mind. Me. Okay, so I'll get you something to drink. Thank you. How are you? I'm sorry. Oh, she's back! How are you, my darling? How was your day? I'm uh, cool. Um, so, Eric? Yes. This is Jasmine. And Jasmine, this is Eric. Your father. <laughs> I can't believe it. Why not? But it's the truth. Okay. <sighs> they didn't seem quite happy to, to see me. Yeah. I guess you shouldn't have, you know, told her just yet, you know, how kids can get. I know, but don't worry about Jasmine. She'll be all right. I know her too well. She just needs some time to process what I just told her. She'll come around. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Are you sure, Eric? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> if you insist, I'm just uh, gonna make us something nice to eat. Okay? So sit back and relax. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my dear, please, I want you to disregard whatever harsh word or attitude Eric may have displayed on you. You know, it's really not easy dealing with frustrations. And no man is usually happy spending on an already lingering sickness. I know him, and I honestly don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. But I just don't understand why he's making it seem as if everything is my fault. He's been avoiding his daughter for days now and seldom responds to her greetings. I mean, I can deal with his anger towards me, but what has the little girl done to deserve such treatment from him? You know, I've been trying to talk to Eric, but he no longer listens to me. He's blaming you and God for everything. And I want you to disregard that. Don't let it get to you, please. Please, Kim, just continue to talk to him. Talk to him for me. I've been meaning to visit you so I can explain all of these to you, but I'm I'm happy you're here. I'm so glad that you're here. I honestly don't know what's wrong with my daughter. I don't. The doctors are trying their hardest to take control of the situation and put a permanent stop to it, but no success has been recorded. I know that God will heal her permanently. 
My faith is still with my hand. Good. I'm happy to hear this from you. Um, by the way, one of clear. Please, really, what's How wrong? How are you, my dear? Oh, sir. What's wrong? Mom, my back hurts. Mm, I'm so sorry. I'll get something in massage for you, okay? Come here. So it's okay. <laughs> The happening in this story took place long, long ago. Sweetie, you've not eaten the food I left for you at the dining room. I don't want to eat anymore. You're angry, aren't you? Is it because of that man I introduced to you earlier? He's gone now. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, baby, I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you about this earlier. Jazz, I'm talking to you. Look at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You told me that dad is dead. I know. And I had my reasons for doing that. Uh, he and I were not married. I just never thought that I was going to see him again. I thought it was best to just keep things the way they were, and that's why I did what I did. But I'm sorry, regardless. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You lied to me, Mom, and I hate you for that. Jazz. What is it? Are you okay? What is it? What is what? What? Well, you look sad, almost as though something is troubling you. What can be more troubling than having you and your daughter in my house? No, what can be more troubling than that? I see you haven't snapped out of that frustration. Anyway, the leper people were here earlier to cut the line. They gave me this bill. They gave you this bill? Fina, what else do you know how to do in your life? Than to add sorrows to me. Huh? They gave you this bill. Huh? Then what else do you know how to do? I'm asking you. Don't, don't Eric me. No, you have to get a job. You have to get a job. No, you, you, you just have to get a job. You cannot kill me. Yeah, you're not, I don't kill me. You have to get a job. Well, you can't get a job. Oh, rent is on me. I have to pay. My car has a fault. Oh, it is on me. I have to fix it. Oh, phone bills. Oh, Eric, <laughs> there's no recharge card. And then the tissue finishes in the toilet. I have to fix it. What are you there for? You know what I inquired about the situation of marriage? What they told me is that the wife is a helpmate. But you? I don't know. If you just dream me. Please. Please now. Give my life and hope. Why is this? That, don't, don't, don't be calling my name. Ah! Leave. Leave now. You know what? I'll leave.
kills me. Well, I met your dad shortly after I rounded up my NYSE program. And we became really good friends. Really good friends until, well, I got pregnant. Why didn't you marry him? Let's just say that we had an agreement as adults and he honored it by leaving. You don't want him as my father. How can you think that, Jess? Of course I do want him as your father, and that's why I introduced you both. But the truth is, he's married to someone else now. Why didn't you marry someone else? Oh. Why are you waiting for him? Jess, can you stop, please? Let's leave that conversation for another day. I wasn't waiting for him. The bottom line is, I introduced you and your dad. Just so you know your dad is alive. Will he be coming around? Darling, I don't know. I, I really don't. Okay? <sighs> Hello? Eric? Hi. How did you get my number? Are you serious? What where, where did you see her? First time. I'm telling you, she took you to her apartment if you see where this girl is. You think it's that kitchen that I live in, Rufina? If you see her apartment, quite cozy and nice, you know, like, it's it's not too much and it's not scat. It's... Wait, I! Wait. And she's doing very well. Is she married? From where? Marriage? Why did they talk like this? Which marriage? Remember when I told you that, that she told me that she was not interested in marriage? Ha. You understand? That singlehood is just the best. You just have a kid that you take care of, and then when the child grows up, the child takes care of you. Basically, that's, that's what she's so, doing. So, Franca was serious about that. What are you talking about? Come and see the beautiful daughter she has for you. Jasmine, that's funny. That is Jasmine looks like when you squeeze her, you squeeze her milk. Not like that sickly thing that Fina did to me at all. But, so, uh, Oga, what are you trying to say? What I'm saying is that I have told you before, Ken, you like to pretend that girl is not my child. Eric! Don't Eric me. I beg. You know, um, I think I came to your shop at the wrong time. How did you come at the wrong time? Because I'm speaking my mind. Which your mind? That girl looks like my child. Good morning. Hey, hi, hi, how are you doing? Please, I came for my change. <clears throat> what change? My, the pole I bought last night. Okay, you're the one that bought the red armless. Yeah. Um, are you sure I didn't give you a change yesterday? No, what do you mean by that? Uh, like 500 kingdom can sort of this guy out. Can't you see how healthy I'm looking? This is in my better shop. You don't buy me beer before. My brother, if you come back, sit outside, let's sit down and I'll say. When I go inside, customer come out with something. Okay, I'm coming from the gym now. When I'm going to the office, I'll... What do you office now? 9 a.m. Okay, when you close from work, come. Come in big time. You don't come in the morning and come out. Oh, I call you. Get that safe. Thank you, man. Claire, what is going on? Mm, I'm done with my food. You're done with what? You, you've already touched the food and you're saying you're done with it. If I eat further, I'll vomit. Siri, I don't like the way you're behaving. You can't keep behaving like this. Look at how thin and pale you look. Daddy's not happy with you and neither am I. I don't feel happy with me. No, sweetie, that's not what I meant. I'm just saying that we're not happy with the way you look now, no rest. Cleo, I'm trying my best for you, so please don't disappoint me. I need you to eat so you can be healthy once again, okay? I don't know what's wrong with me, Mom. Each time I eat a little, I feel full. What about the multivitamins I gave you? It was supposed to enhance your appetite. They're not working, Mom. Please. 
If you guys want me to please. I came to your room to check up on you, but you weren't there. Clear sickness is getting worse. Her temperature keeps rising. So what do you want me to do now? Well, we need to take her to the hospital. Eric, she's dying. And what do you think will happen at the hospital? Oh, you can't think? Okay, I'll, I'll think for you. Let me give you an insight for what happened. We'll get to the hospital. Alright? Carrying this one here on our shoulder. Like she's going to pass out. And then, I'm asked to pay consultation fee just so that we can see any of the doctors on seat or one of the nurses. And then we go through that. I am asked again to pay so that she can be admitted because they think that she's going to die. People like this don't die. They will still have to torment you. And then what? You begin to run around. What? Administer all kinds of antibiotics that they can find. What? All from my already empty pocket. You go through that and then what? She is discharged. Again, I will have to pay for her to be discharged. Then we come back home. Two days tops. She begins to vomit in the toilet. Vomit on the bed. Vomit on the dining room. Vomit on you when you're sleeping. People like this, they don't die. And then she begins to act like a dying lizard. What do you expect me to do to spend the rest of my life paying for her to be taken to the hospital every minute of the day? Look, madam, I don't know how this thing got into your room and got out and came to this house to torment me. I am tired. Do you understand me? I don't have money and I don't care what you choose to do with your daughter. Right? <laughs> Seriously, Fina, the situation is getting out of hand, and it's time we left that man. I should leave my husband. Of what use is he to you if he cannot take care of you and his daughter? Well, Sonia, he's having trying times, and I understand him. I don't blame him at all. Is he the only man with a challenge? Eh? Is he? Just look at how your daughter almost died if you hadn't called me. It's bad. If he cannot take care of his responsibilities anymore, you have no business staying in that house. Unless you want to die of starvation. Well, I know what he's going through. The shop is almost empty. He's literally sold almost everything there. The situation has liquidated all his savings, Sonia. Like I said, He's not the only one facing or passing through such. So stop making excuses for him. Just stop it. Huh. Let's go. Um, have you seen the owner of this shop? Can't you see that it's closed? I've been here for hours, and we've been here for hours too. Hmm. I really need my pay too. Sorry, I'm sure he's around the corner. Let me just quickly call him, okay? Please, please. You need to get that, okay? We've been standing here for hours. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Please, uh, please, I'm so sorry. Eh? Maybe you guys will need to come back. What do you say? I've been trying to reach him on the phone. He's not picking up. Are you serious? Come back. Sorry. Are you serious about that? Yeah. You, you go for it. 
Mommy came home. Dad! Hey! <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Dad. It's like having you around. I told him you've been asking after him since the last time he was here. Uh, hey, that's really nice. You know what? I'm, I'm here for you now, okay? Huh? Okay, father and daughter. I'm gonna attend to kitchen duties while I let you guys play catch up, okay? Cool. Have fun. <laughs> Alright. Dad, uh, do you like watching cartoons? Yeah, sure, I do. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, we have a final assignment to draw a car. Since you have one, can you help me and draw one? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go and get my cardboard sheet and my pen too. I'll be right back. Mom, I was rushing to the restroom, but I couldn't make it on time. What kind of nonsense is this? Just look at how you messed up the bedspread. And look at the room I cleaned up not long ago. Why are you punishing me like this? Mom, I said I'm sorry. I don't like this, Cleo. I don't like this at all. Since morning, I've been attending to one need or the other from you. When will you eat without vomiting? Mom, please stop. I won't. I know how I labored before I gave you that food you just threw up. Look, whatever that is doing this inside of you should better stop because I'm getting sick and tired of it. And I don't know how much longer I can tolerate it. What is all this? Dad, when are you going to move in and let him stay with us? Soon. <laughs> Jasmine, remember his bad habit to talk about it. Mom, just say you don't want him to move in. Just say it. Dad, I heard you're married. Jasmine? Um, Jazz, look, Daddy is going to tell you everything that you need to know once you're done eating. Huh? I'm impressed with the car you drew for me today. Maybe you can teach me how to draw. Maybe I can follow you to your house when I'm done eating. Okay, at this point, I'm going to have to get on my cane if you don't stop. Really. Sorry, Mom. Sweetie, you're here. Let's go inside. Leave me alone. Just leave me. Cleopatra, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for my outburst. I really am. I'm sorry. It's obvious you're tired of me. I want to die, Bob. I want to die. Are you silly? Don't you ever say such a thing? Nothing will happen to you. Nothing. 
that what's the essence of me being alive? Just because you're dead. I need to die, mom. I heard that there is so much up there. Rest in heaven. So let me go. Now listen to me. We'll be up there when God decides for us to be there. And not when we decide. Honey, I am so sorry. I promise it would never happen again. Tell me. Do you regret having me as a child? Are you crazy? Of course not. Cleopatra, I love you. I never regret having you as a child and I never will. Honey, you're my only source of joy and happiness. I'm sorry. God, I love you so much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Thanks again for for the meal. It was it was really nice. You know? Yeah, <laughs> liked it. I should be the one thanking you for coming around. I mean, Jasmine was so happy. I've never seen her this hyperactive around anyone. You can't blame her now, eh? can you? I, know. I mean, look at her. She's so excited. Uh, <laughs> who knows how long she's yearned to meet her dad? Come on. I know. <laughs> I know. Poor thing. You know, she even asked why we're not married. She did? Mm -hmm. She did. Okay. Mm. So were you nice enough to tell her the real reason you and I are not together? I mean, I told her, but I'm sure she didn't understand. You know, you and I can, can actually get back together if, if you want, if you're up to it. Eh? You're a married man, remember? You have a wife and a daughter. What daughter? That girl is not my child. Uh, she can't be my child. What, a girl who's laden by some incurable illness? Oh, she's not my child. She can't, she can't be from me. No! Look. We're here. We can do this. If you want us to do it. Please. I'd like for us to get back together. Okay? Hmm. This time around, we can make it fine. We, we can, you know, tie the nuptials and be in each other's life forever. Eric, yes. you know I'm not cut out for that. Nuptials, no. But I mean, we could be lovers. What else did you notice? Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. Yet you don't want to make it final. No, sir. Come on, now you know how I feel about you. Huh? I've missed you. Huh? I have to, but I can't oh, wow. be married. Mm. I want you. Stop, Eric, stop. But I want you. <sighs> can I just can I just stay and not leave? <laughs> huh? Eric. What? I will walk you to your car. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Eric, you have no business between that woman and her child. What are you talking about? I should have been with the mother of my child. Eh? Eric, you have a phone. I mean, you have a wife and a daughter who love and care so much about you. Ken, Cleo is not my child. I've told you this several years. So you're saying, you're still saying this nonsense? Call it nonsense. I'm the one wearing the shoes and I know where it reaches. How can that not that sickly child be mine? Look at me, I'm very healthy. I'm telling you. So please let's drop this. Alright. I have a second chance of making myself happy. Since I met Frank and things, you know, I feel lifted. So please allow me. Right? I have been through so much. And I say enough is enough. Every can be like, I mean, how sure are you that that child is yours? How sure are you? Franka is just using your head for all I care. Are you a friend or a foe? Are you implying that Jasmine is not mine? Isn't it obvious? 
I choose to ignore you. Can, can I can't believe you. What is this? Why are you living now? But is that the new way you have invented to make complaints? That's, that, <laughs> that's what you and your mother do best. What, what do you want to do? Dad. Yes. Please, if there's anything myself or my mom might have done to you, please forgive us. Please. Help us, your daughter's dead, please. I'm still lost. I still don't understand the essence of this approach. Dad, you used to care about me and now I'm begging you to forgive my mom, please. Forgive me for I don't know why sickness I've refused to let go of me. Please. Okay. I see. We have to talk to you soon, yes. I mean, it has to be you. Because I'm tired. Alright, I am tired of spending money on you every time. I did not come to this world because of you. You understand? I came to this world for myself. I didn't come for you. You, you came for yourself and you're trying to kill me. If it's the will of God for me to die in this sickness, then so be it. But don't spend again so you won't be unhappy with us. Okay. So, you're here to actualize your mother's plan. See? I was wondering why you come to know my daughter. So this is about emotional blackmail so that I can continue spending money. Get out of here. Get out of here. I can wake up tomorrow morning and go to school. I can eat. So that is if you don't wake up and say, oh, I'm going to tell you the dream and then you're going to tell you your life and then I'm going to school because your wife is naked and you're sick and you just need to make your house. Get out of here. Out. You should have done it, Dad. What? We are here to end my suffering, isn't it? What are you talking about? I... I came here to, to, you know, cover you up. Then why can't I see any blanket on my feet? What's wrong with you? Huh? Are you going to tell me how to cover you up? I was walking through, I saw you. I just figured you my code and decided to come. Why am I even explaining myself to you? Look, I don't care what you think, alright? I came to cover you up. 
Yes. Keep the cover. Oh, good night. Eric, what? what are you doing? Stop following me, woman. Just stop disturbing me. Leave me now. But Allow me. How can you leave the house without leaving some money? Because I don't have. I don't have now. What do you want me to do? You want to cut my flesh? I don't have. If you got me, follow me to the shop. I go and see what's going on there. It's empty. You people have crippled me. I don't have. But how do you want us to survive? I'm not even worried about myself. I'm worried about you. Ask you how we're going to survive. Because I don't know. No, look at me now. See my life. You know, before, before you two came into my life, you know, I was that bubbling young man, you know, when we were doing business. People liked me a lot. You know, I was poof. I was looking good. Look at me. I'm looking stressed up. I go to work every day and I don't wear shoes anymore. What? Because my life is practically like, like that of a madman. Why? Because I have to deal with that thing that you brought into my life. Eric. And that you start. I don't have Eric. Yeah, please. Let me go to work and see if what I'll find people. So I don't have. God, please help us. Please, God. I don't even have a job, so how do I even help out? God, please, please take care of my daughter for me. Please, God. What do you mean a DNA? You don't believe the child is yours? No, that's not what I'm saying. But that's what you mean. No, that's not what I mean. Listen. I'm planning on divorcing my wife. Uh -huh. And I won't be ready for it. I want to let her know that I have a child. A child that is mine. What a proof. Look, she's a human being, remember? You just, you just don't walk up to her and say you have a child. You need to back up that claim with a proof. That's Eric, what I'm saying. I don't think you have anything to prove to that woman. All you need to do is just chase out of the house if you want to. Except, of course, you still want her around as your wife. Because I already told you I'm not cut out for that. If that's the case, then... Hey, 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 Uncle, what are you saying? How can you even say that I still want her as my wife? Have you seen what living with that woman has done to me? I mean, look at me. That woman is causing me so much pain. I need to begin to leave. I need to find happiness. That woman is the clog in the wheel of my success in life. She has to go. <sighs> but it's going to take some kind of work. Please. All I'm saying is that I get a DNA result. Prove to her that I have a child and back it up with other reasons as to why I need to move on. I think that would settle all the argument. Don't you think so? That's all I'm saying, Frank. Well, in that case, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll just take her to the hospital and run the tests. I mean, Thank I have you. nothing to hide. Thank you. Now well, you see my point, right? Yeah, you kind of do. You kind of do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You know, after all these years, I'm still crushing on you. Mm. I'm serious, though. Mm. Talk his shit. 
Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is it true? It is. So why don't you let me act on it? That's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are you aware of a certain lady he used to know that just came into Lagos? A lady? No, he hasn't told me about her. Oh, really? You mean he hasn't approached you with such topic? No. Yeah, I'm not supposed to say this. Oh, come on, Ken. What is it? What are you hiding from me? Nothing. No, nothing of consequence. Remember, I trust you. And I still do. Please tell me. Fina, Eric has been having doubts concerning the paternity of your daughter. So he finally brought that subject up for a public discourse. He told no one but me. I mean, he's saying he couldn't have fathered a child who has become one with ailment. And he has denied the paternity of Chloe right before me several times. Tell me about this lady. Is she the reason he's denying his child? I don't know. But it seems likely so, since this woman has a child. Wait. And she's the one he closes his shop to go and see every time. She has a child. Yes. And who's her father? Ken, who's the father of this child? Should broach the subject to him. No. Why not? See, he needs to know that you are where he has a child with another woman, which explains the reason why he changed his attitude towards you. No, Sonia. I'll just wait for him to bring the subject up before. I don't want to betray his friend, Ken. But Ken is not even happy with him. Well, he begged me for confidentiality. You know he's not supposed hey. to tell me such a thing. This is too sad. This is sad and shocking. But how are you feeling now? I honestly don't know how I feel right now. I feel like the whole world is crashing on my feet and there really isn't anything I can do about it. Sonia, he chose that woman with a healthy child over me. Oh, forget about all that. Don't even let it bother you, okay? <sighs> I still suggest you should leave that stupid man. Leave him, eh? He cannot stay here and die of depression. No, I'll stay. I'll stay here for as long as he wants me to. I'm his wife. I can't just leave. The thing is, I want to hate him so bad right now, but I'm just too tired and emotionally fucked up. Cleo! Mom. 
方。Claire, what is this? I don't know, Mom. You don't know, and yet it's in your bathroom. Isn't this your bathroom? Did you hurt yourself? No, Mom. So what is this then? Why is there blood in your bathroom? What are you hiding from me? Mom, it's been coming out from my arms for some time now. Oh my God! Still. Why didn't you tell us about it? I promised that I won't disturb him anymore with my ailments, so he'll stop spending. You should have told me. Why didn't you tell me? We don't have money to go to the hospital, or do we? Regardless, Claire, you should have told me about it. This could be very serious, and you need to see a doctor before something worse happens. Something worse like death. God forbid. Don't you ever say that again, okay? Stop saying that. Now get dressed. I'm going to send you to the hospital right now. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. So long. I never knew that I'd see you again. I still can't believe I'm See, there is nothing I've not done to make Eric see reasons. But he seldom listens to me. In fact, he has made me understand that I'm now his enemy by walking out on me after calling me a fake friend. But you know he's not in his right senses. I wish I knew what happened to him. See, Sonia, there's nothing wrong with Eric. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's simply lost faith in God and has decided to sort for solace in the arms of his ex-girlfriend. As he stands, I'm afraid there's nothing you and I can do about it. And his wife is there suffering. In fact, as I'm talking with you right now, she's with her daughter at the hospital. But the girl is sick again? Yes. She has proven to be their cross, which Eric is ought to carry alongside his wife. But leaving the burden entirely on her is unfair. Totally unfair. Oh God, please have mercy on this innocent girl. This girl has suffered in the hands of this illness. So sad things are this way for them. Look, you need to talk to Eric. He needs to come off the path he's throwing right now. Ha -ha. Fina has done nothing to deserve this. Nothing. You don't know Eric. What? That's by the way. Um, please, can you take me to the hospital where they are? I need to see them. Sure, sure, come in. I'm just fired up this game. Right? Yes. I really don't like the idea of coming here with you. Oh, come I on. really don't. Come on, come on. Don't, don't spoil the fun, alright? I already assured you that you're fine and safe with me, okay? Hmm. So enjoy your stay here. Hmm? Eric. Yeah? You have a wife and a daughter. Mm hmm. And I really would not want to behold her presence. I mean... You mean what? No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I think you should meet her. Yeah, I think you should meet her. She should get to meet you. I intend to make an introduction. That way she begins to warm up to me. Eric. But what's she doing here? She has to go. No, she has to get used to the fact that she has to go. Eric. What? I... I don't know. You don't know what? I'm just... Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to spoil this for us now, right? I brought you here so that you can see where I stand now. Get used to it. Don't spoil it, okay? You have me by your side, so you're safe. If you insist. I insist. So come with me, let me show you around. <sighs> yeah? Great. Come on. You actually do have a lovely place. What? You think it's still nice? I know, I can see. It's really pretty. You should have sent this place. Oh yeah, you should have sent this place way before now. It was it was richly furnished. Most of my expensive wares are gone. Mm. You know, I was living a good life until until I gave birth to that bad luck. 
from a wrong woman, but you know what they say. Life happens, and I intend to have a fresh start with you. So I'm going to get my groove back on with you. All right? Whatever you say. Relax. Sit a bit stiff and uncomfortable. I'll try. I'll try. I'll lose some more. You I already told you my problem is, but I'll try. Ah, relax. I don't think anybody can, though. Um, it's not like I care. I don't think anyone is hungry. I don't care. You care? I already said that. Oh, shit. Come on. Stop hitting my mom! Who are you? You're alive. You want to talk about that? I'm asking your horrible mother here where well, she's been all night. I think you won't give me answers. Ask you one more time where are you coming from at this time of the night? And if you cannot provide me with an answer, I'll ensure that you understand sleeps outside the door. Where are you coming from? I 
coming back from the hospital. And if you don't believe me, you can call your friend Kenneth to confirm that. Ken. My friend Ken. What? What? So, what? Ken now accompanies you to the hospital as. as what? As a man who cares for his best friend's wife and a child who has been deserted by her husband. <laughs> ah! Feel you have no shame whatsoever. So now it's Ken that you've been frolicking around town with? Huh? Why? Money. Because of money? Eric, I would not allow you to accuse me falsely. Else what? Else what? What are you going to do? No, look, I really don't care what you do. Because you know why? <laughs> I already have an answer. <laughs> now I know the man in your life, Ken, my friend. My goodness. <laughs> but I tell you what, I have made up my mind. That you and this thing will go back to where you're coming from. You'll not sleep in this house. Not tonight. Out. Please, Dad. You know. Okay. Out. Okay. Then I, if you make me repeat myself again. out of the house. He sent you out? For what? He didn't believe my returning from the hospital. He said I was with my boyfriend Kenneth and that I should go back to him. This is the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. This man is seriously ill upstairs. Can you imagine while at the hospital I kept calling and calling but he just wouldn't answer. He even put up his phone. Fina, when are you leaving this man? Or do you want him to spell the handwriting on the wall for you? He is done. No, sorry. Can't you see that? No. Oh, Sonia, I just think, I honestly just think he's frustrated, that's all. No, please don't cry. I hate that for making you cry. No, sweetie. But I don't want you to hate your father, okay? Don't you ever hate him. You need to question up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sonia, but can we spend the night here? I don't know what you're talking about. This house is mine and it's yours as well. Thank you. Why don't you need my permission to stay as long as you like? Thank you so much. Kiss me. I just don't like what is happening. I don't like it at all. I'm so sorry. Be fine, right? Good morning. Good morning. Eric, you sent your wife and daughter away after spending the night at the hospital instead of welcoming them. 
Ken, my wife spent the night in your house and in your arms. What I expect from you is a confession confirming the paternity of Cleo. Oh, yes. She's your child. What I'm saying is that she is your child. That sickler who's trying to take my life away is your child. How else do you explain the fact that you're always here fighting for my so-called wife? Why? So you think I will see through your, your, your motives? Look at you. You call yourself my friend. And every time there's a glimmer of hope for me, you say, oh no, you don't look that way. What gives you the moral justification to come and tell me, oh, Franca and Jasmine, I, 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 I'm not sorry. I did a DNA test and it confirms that Jasmine is my child. All right? So enjoy yourself with the ones that slept at your house yesterday. That is what I'm... My friend, get out! Get, get out of you're place. insane. I'm insane. You're insane and you need to snap out of this madness. I am insane. How dare you accuse me of adultery? I am insane. You sleep with my wife, show up at my place the next morning and tell me that I am insane. I will show you. I will show you. Get out! Get out of here! Get out of my house right now! Get out of my house right now! I tell you, get out of this place now! Get out! I'm sorry for you. But I need to tell you something. You need to allow that woman and her daughter be because of a stupid whore you used to know that just showed up all of a sudden. What is wrong with you? Oh, I I'm stupid. I'm insane. I'll show you what's inside. Chalupabo, I'll show you what. What? What is that? Wait, wait for me, wait for me. I'll show you what is that. It's not even true. No, you're not waiting for me. What? You walk around, sleeping with women, with women, with women. We are little dick. And then you come here to come preach to me. What gives you the moral justification? Idiot. Bloody backstabber. It's because of people like you that people don't have friends anymore. Oh, take her out. Take her, take Fina, and take Cleo. I dash you. Live with that body for the rest of your life. Come back here, Jazzy. What happened to my side mirror? What side mirror, Mom? I just stepped outside to wash my car and I realized that my side mirror, one of them has been broken. I didn't do it. You didn't do it? If you didn't do it, then who did? Who else lives in this house except for you and I? Mom, are you sure you didn't spoil before you went outside? If you do Perhaps I didn't go outside. You didn't go outside? If you don't stop lying to me, Jasmine, I'm going to give you a very dirty slap. How many times did I tell you to stop chatting things in this house? You don't listen! I'm sorry, Mom. What does sorry do for me? Don't touch things, don't touch things, you just don't listen! Now you've destroyed my side mirror! I cannot drive around now be without being harassed by, by the VIO! Mom, what's a VIO? Get out of my side, Jasmine. Come back here. Jasmine, why? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you hurting me? The VIO, Vehicle Inspection Officials, that's what it is. Get out. Ah, gosh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you're right on time. There you go. Go through the document and then, uh, <clears throat> you know, do the niche for. Eric, good morning. Fila, I am not interested in your greetings, all right? I want you to go through that document and do what is required of you before I come back from the show. I really appreciate it. I know about your newly found love. Oh, you do? Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it makes the document you're holding quite comprehensible. If you go on there. And for your information, the person you're referring to is not my newly found love. She is someone that I have known all along before I met you. 
So why didn't you marry her? Oh, you're divorcing me. I'm correcting the most grievous mistake I have made in my life, which is kicking you out of my life, kicking you out of my house, and replacing you with that one that you call newly found. Because that one is the love of my life. I don't know that thing that you brought into my house, that's sick lad. I'm tired. Okay, all you have done is what we paid. And I'm a human being like you, I'm trying to find life. I don't know joy in it. So please, go through this. I'm doing the need for get out of my life. <laughs> She needs to be taught a lesson. It's, it, it's okay. Huh? She won't do it. So what kind of child is this? I understand. Just this morning, I chastised this girl for destroying the side mirror of my car. Not knowing she had destroyed the DVD in this house. The one we had before now, she was the same person who destroyed it. What kind of life is this? Okay, take it easy. Alright, just take it easy. Eric, I take it easy. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't do it. You see, that's the saddest part of this whole thing. She would never admit her fault. She keeps telling lies. It's fine. Um, Jazz, go to your room. But Dad, I... I... Move. Go to your room. Now! Yeah. It's fine. It's not, oh. Eric, it's not. Take it. Because everything is weighing down on me. It's not. I know. But just take it easy. Come on now. She's just a child. She will she's learn. not just a child. She would learn. All right? If we, if we allow this, she's going to grow up and become worse. And I will not condone it. Hey, I'm here, baby. It's okay. Come on now, calm down. Yeah? Come on now. Cleo. Why are you parking? In this house, Mom. I need to leave. Leave? I don't understand. Mom, you said that Dad was about asking you to leave this house all because of me. I can't see that happen. I'm going to leave so you can stay with Dad. <laughs> what are you saying? Why in Lagos do you even know that you want to leave? No way, Mom. But I can't watch Dad throw you out of this house all because of me. I'm going to leave. If I leave here, God can direct me. So let's leave this place. Hey, listen to me. Stop it, okay? You're going nowhere. Wherever I go, you go. You and I are in this together, okay? Keep on. But what are we going to do? Dad has already made up his mind. Are we going to allow him to throw us out of this house? No, I really don't think you throw me out of the house. Fina, have you suddenly lost your understanding of the word divorce? I know, but I don't think you throw me and our daughter out. I'm sure he said that out of annoyance. Out of annoyance? <laughs> out of annoyance? Really? <laughs> See, I've reserved a place for you at my apartment, and I suggest you follow me now. My daughter wants me to leave. You want me to leave. I don't think it's right. Leaving this house is almost like I've lost my husband. But you have already lost him, Fina. 
You lost him the day he discovered that woman and her child. So forget him and move on. It's not the end of the world, you know. Please, allow him do what pleases him. And then God will deal with him decisively. So why did you lie to mom? I was afraid she's going to beat me. I understand that, but let me tell you something. You know what lies are, right? Lies. A graphite. Profit's anger, it gets the person really angry. But when you tell the truth, it calms the person down a little bit. It sort of suits the pain. Okay? So every time you are finding someone in situations like this, you tell the truth first, and then you're quick to apologize. Okay? Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. But I also need you to learn that you're not supposed to take things that don't belong to you. Okay? Especially when it, when it has to do with strangers, whoever it is. Because that's, that's, that's not good. When you take things that don't belong to you, it's seen as stealing. And it's, it's not good. You're a good kid, remember? And good kids don't steal. Are you listening to me? I am, Dad. I'm so sorry. I know. No, come then. It's alright. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Mom, ever forgive me? <laughs> we'll see about that, alright? It's fine.
Going to the shop today? Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm staying in today. Okay. Yeah. You know, my plan was to you know, spend the whole day with you, but seeing that you're prepping to go out, I, I don't know how that makes me feel. I won't be long myself. I just want to quickly get something from the boutique and I'll be back home. I won't be long now. I won't be long. You know how I get when I miss you, baby. I know. <laughs> I won't be long, I promise. Meanwhile, what would you like for breakfast? Oh, about that. Um, whatever I can come up with, it'll be fine. You know I barely eat. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Since you won't be long, um, just do me a very rich... Um, cup of tea. Mm -hmm. and, um, just take that and wait for you. Okay. okay. But know that when you come back, you'll have to find me plantain. You know how I love plantain. <laughs> Not a problem. You ain't plantain, though, Eric. Yeah. Why do men love plantain so much? I don't know. <laughs> you know, maybe it has something to do with our, you know, our masculinity. <laughs> you know what I say that. You know, planting is the other brother of plant. So very funny. It just helps you wake up. Very funny. All your veins rising in warm. Ah. <laughs> I can't think to find the money I left in this bag. You sure you could kept it in that bag? That Particular bag. I'm positive I left it in his bag. It should be there. But it's not. Oh. You didn't tamper with my bag, did you? David. You're kidding me. I so much. <laughs> you found it? Um, Fina, I'm really sorry for what happened. But I wanted to know that you did the right thing by living without him embarrassing you. Just like he did to me. He actually threw a bucket of water at me. He did what? Um, that's all in the past now. Eric, my friend, has lost it. And there's nothing we can do about it. Um, Sonia, thank you so much for accepting how to live with you, okay? It's the least I can do for a friend. He's only God that will reward your kindness. You know, it hurts me that Eric, my friend, wrecked his home all by himself. But I pray the good Lord to salvage this situation in no time. Mm. Fina, I know you still want Eric as your man. But you need to let go so it doesn't affect your child. She needs you now more than ever. <sighs> You'll be a source of consolation to her. I honestly don't know what to say to the both of you. But I know the good Lord I serve will bless you for me. I don't know what my life would have become without you. Thank you so much. But there is no need for that, Fina. We're like family. You belong to us and we belong to you. Exactly. And my dear Cleo, no need to worry about your education, okay? I'll take care of it. God hey, bless you, sir. Hey, come on, come on. Please, Thank come. you for showing so much kindness towards me and my mom. Thank you. No problem. It's okay. Thank you. Uncle is there for you, okay? Thank you so much, Ken. I can't wait, Jenna. Are you done eating? Since, mom. Mom, let's go. I'm late for school. Let me see your bag. Your bag, Jasmine. What's wrong with you? I don't believe this. What, what is this? You heard him. What is this, Jasmine? 
You see why I don't spare her? Do you see for yourself why I don't spare this girl? So it has gotten to the point that you steal my money now? No, Mom. I didn't know how it got into my bag. You see? But you still have the nerve to lie. You don't know how we got there, so did he grow legs? Jasmine! You still uh, have the you still have the nerve uh, to lie? Uh, Eric, uh, stop uh, now! Uh, Eric, you can't stand in my way. It's not funny. Please. Please. I need to please. Please. It's not right. I can't go on like this. Please. What kind of rubbish is this? Please just calm down for my sake, please. Please, please. please. Eric, we can't condone this. I know, I know. Do you see the amount of money? What does she need this money for? I agree with you. It's a horrible act, but we can fix it. But not, not like this. Please. Sweetheart, please. Please, trust me. We will fix this. Ha! Huh. Seriously, Eric. I don't like how you defend that child every time I try to correct her. It's not funny. This is part of the reasons I don't need no man telling me how to raise my child. To calm down, all right? Don't tell me to calm down. You have to calm down. Huh? Okay? The anger you vent on that child could get her killed. Who cares? You should care. I care. Do you know it's not up to a month her teacher reported her for stealing a pencil from a classmate? And now she's graduated to stealing my money? You think it's a joke? No, it's not a joke. Please, don't get in the way. Look, I'm not getting in the way. Alright? I understand you have to discipline her, but if you have to do so, get a cane or something. You don't hit a child with the first thing you lay your hands on. You get her killed. I don't care! I just said that, Eric. I, 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 just, I just don't care. You should care. If I don't say my correct time now, I could lose her. I will not raise a thief for a child. I will not. Oh, you're shouting. Take it easy now. Calm down. Eric, and I meant it when I said do not butt in my business next time. Whenever I'm trying to correct that girl, don't get in my business. Otherwise, I'll fall out seriously with you. Franca. And it's no joke. Franca, calm down. I'm not trying to make a case for her. I understand that what she's done is wrong. Okay? But she's a child. She'll get things right. Eric, she's... stop telling me that thing she's a child. Don't stop telling me that. Okay. If you don't tame a child now, when are you going to tame her? Calm down. Alright, just take it easy. You know what? You don't have to bother taking her to school. I'll do that myself. Alright, just take it. You, you really have a hard time, you know, getting out of anger. Just take it easy, okay? Alright. What are you doing? Do it fast, though. Do it fast, because I won't tolerate this rubbish. Just calm down. Alright. I'll see you later. Where is she? Where is she? Please, where are you? Come out! Call your friend, call your, call your friend out! What are you doing in my house, Eric? Call your, your team and your friend out! My friend, will you stop shouting? You two stop shouting! How dare you go to my house and shout at call me? Call your team and your friend out! Who do you think you are? Hey, thief! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, you're out. Kina, come here. I told oh. you not to come out if he's here to apologize. You're not going back to that house. It's fine. Eric, what is it? Oh, you people have been thinking that I'll come back and I'll put... Uh, uh, my iron. My pressing iron, can I have it? Since I went came. No, that's not why I came. Please, can I, can I, can I have the iron? I, 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 I went out, I just got back to the house and I realized that the iron was missing. For what now? My friend, will you stop shouting? Which? She won't give you anything. I should stop shouting. Fina! Come, come here. No, 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 no. Look, look, look here. Why are you talking back at me? Have you seen where I am and where you are? It it's all your fault. It You are not even a man. Shut up! I'm not I a get man. out of my house. No, yes. you are a man. I have seen that you are yes, a man. Yes, I'm more, I'm more of a man you than you are. You are a man. Are. I can see. I am more give of a man iron. than you are. Please, next time when I tell you to pack your things and get out of my house, Pick your things and not our things. Can you imagine Pick this yours. nonsense? You are so senseless and useless. You are, you are not a man. Let people are not women are not you should not talk. Useless. Mutum Bafu. Men will be talking. This one too is talking. Sweetie, let's go, please. Let's go inside. Nonsense. Oh she. Ha! Man that does not value family is our man. Useless. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? You're fine. Good. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm home. Oh, yes, I came back home after I dropped uh, Jasmine off at school. Uh huh. Oh, yes, I have one more round to do today. 
I have this customer who's been owing me a lot of money for some time. Uh, given the fact that I need money, I'll go see him. Oh, yes. What? <laughs> Look, you're just a troublemaker. You didn't let me get to it. No, 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 no. Sleha, calm down. You didn't let me get to it. You didn't let me get to it. I was going to say, I see my client, see if I can get somebody, then I'll come to yours. How would I ever go through my day without seeing? No, come on, I'll come to yours. All right? Yeah. But anyways, guess what? I have news for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I came back home and then I found out that that bad luck that caused us my wife, she left. I'm serious. Fina left. Yeah. I noticed she picked her things and left. <laughs> I'm excited. What you, you know? Look, you don't even know what I've been doing. Please let me be. Let me enjoy this moment. All right? She left. <sighs> but anyway, I'm telling you this because I need you to prepare yourself for the weekend. Yes, weekend. I need you to know that you're gonna be spending time here with me. The weekend. You, Jasmine, and myself. All right. We're gonna have our moment. Yes, it's a good idea, Frank and I don't spoil it. Alright? Uh, you know what? Hold that thought. Just walk your mind through it when I come to yours later today. We'll talk about it. Alright? I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> I miss you too. I miss you. <laughs> See you soon now. Bye. Ah! Boy. <laughs> Why are you crying? Where is Cleo? She's she's inside. She's sleeping. So, why are you crying? I thought he was here to apologize. I thought he was here to take me home. Is that why you're crying? Sonia, he's my husband. And I need him. I want him in my life. I know. He's your husband. Yes, I agree. But the stupid man said he doesn't want you anymore. And he even came here to collect iron. Ordinary pressing iron. And that pressing iron is even mine now. Now what? I, I bought it during my youth service. Very good. And you allowed him to collect it? I just... Why didn't you tell me? Sonia, I was disappointed. He's disappointed me so much. It will never be well with whoever is doing this. Amen. It will not be well with whoever is trying to take my joy Amen. away. Amen. Amen. Ah, my friend. What you need to do now is to ask God for a job. You need to start working and earning. That way you'll forget everything about Eric in no time. If it's the will of God that you come back together again, then so be it. But please, you need to let go. <sighs> see, I don't want to come back here and see you cry, you know. I don't. Chill. All right? Okay, wait, wait. Okay, chill, 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 chill. I'm a little more, <laughs> You look better this way. I'm coming. <laughs> It's just... 
scary. What happened? Tell me. I had a dream. A nightmare. It was so terrible, Mom. Talk to me about it. Can you tell me about it? No, Mom, it's too scary. Please, it's too terrible. Please, Mom. But I don't understand. How come the doctor said he found nothing wrong with her respiratory tract? Yet she almost passed out last night, gasping for breath. It's not the result of the test they ran on her, of which you paid for. Could you find any abnormality whatsoever? So what is wrong that she's sick almost all the time? Sorry, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I know is I am tired. You know, sometimes I don't blame Eric. The frustration can be really overwhelming. No, stop it. Stop. There is no justification for what Eric did. Ha -ha. How can you even make an excuse for him? He's simply a coward and an unfit father and a husband. Just stop it, please. Look, I understand your plight. And I think there's more to your daughter's illness than meets the eye. What do you mean? I'm suggesting we go see my pastor now. I have sent Cleo to several churches. They've even prayed for her at crusades. What have I not done to see that girl delivered from the sickness? It's only God who can explain why I'm suffering now. Tell me you. The poor girl is suffering too. Let's go see my pastor and he'll pray for her personally. He is a very strong man of God. Trust me. Then, an even but generous sprinkling of cheese right to the edges. And now, you need to create a boat shape. Start from one end and roll it towards you, rolling in some of the cheese flakes. And you start from the opposite side. You pinch your canoe shape and then put this on a parchment line so you can show. Go. And the finishing move. What is it? An arrangement. A couple of roasted peppers. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry, Valve. I'm sorry for the way I've done damaging things in this house. I'm willing to change. Really? I'm serious, Mom. Please, you have to believe me. Oh, Jasmine. <sighs> Go and get it. And here get they are. Go and get what you just destroyed and be fast about it. Put more. Jasmine! Those bake in a hot oven, 400 degrees, and these take 20 to 30 minutes. How do you do it, Jesse? No, really, I want to know. How do you do it? Because the way that you tell lies so convincingly is alarming. If I didn't know you so well, Jasmine, I would have fallen flat for this stupid act that you try to put up now. Who taught you how to be this way? Nobody. So where did you learn him from? You know what? I'm not even going to touch you this time. But for two days straight, you will get no food from this house. Just so that you can feel the pains and how hurtful it is when you tell such terrible lies. I almost don't know who you are. What kind, what kind of life is this? Leave my sight. Okay. I said leave my sight. Imagine glasses I just got. How long has the sickness lasted? 
And your husband? Well, he finally threw us out of the house that he's tired. He recently discovered a woman with a child for him. And that even made him despise us the more. It's well, my dear. Okay? Pastor, she's my best friend and has suffered so much in the hands of her husband. All because of a sickness that won't let go of her daughter. It's all over, my dear. By the reason of our Lord Jesus Christ, your daughter is healed. Amen. You see, I have seen cases like this where all manner of treatment will be administered on a sick person. But yet, no positive result. Even the doctors won't see any abnormality in the person's body system, making it difficult for them to explain the lingering sickness. That's exactly my daughter's case. Pastor, I honestly don't know what is wrong with her. Medicines don't even work on her system any longer. Well, you have come to the final bus stop of your tribulation. Amen. It is well with you and your family, my dear. Amen. Um, um, what your daughter needs right now is spiritual um, treatment. Yes, she needs spiritual healing. And only then will her body be able to accept any medicine. Yes. And how will she get spiritual healing? You like the food? Great, I knew you would. What's the meaning of this, Eric? Hey. Did I ask you to feed her? Calm down. The kid needs to eat. I don't understand. Did I ask you to feed her? Eric, please leave my house. What? I said leave. Come on, stop it. Stop it. Stop what? What, you want her to starve? It's not right. What is not right? Do you know what this girl has done? Do you have any idea what Jasmine has done? Whatever it is she's done does not call for starvation. Come on, look at her. She's a kid. Eric. It's not right. I'm not doing this with you. I'm not. I don't need anybody telling me how to train this girl. I said before, please leave. She's a kid. You keep starving her. She's going to develop also. I don't care. I care. You I don't care. freaking care. I shouldn't. She should have thought of that about that before before stealing from me. I know you're hurt. I understand how you feel, but the mistake has been made already. The deed is done, and I'm pretty sure she's 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 sorry about it. Look at her now. Come on, Eric, you're taking the piece off. Just spare her. Come you're working my last nerve. I know. Please spare her. She's a kid. She would learn. I keep telling you this. All right, please. <laughs> I know you have to eat. Please, okay. You have to eat. Do you think I'm happy? I don't know. I'm not happy that you stole Mom's money. It's not right. Mommy doesn't steal. Daddy doesn't steal. So, where did you get it from? Sorry, Dad. I know. And that's why we do this food, so please eat. Mm -hmm. I would pray all the time. I know, sweetie, but we need to pray for your spiritual healing. Spiritual healing? I don't understand. Well, the pastor said that oftentimes people might be sick spiritually and not physically, and that makes it very difficult for medicine to work on them. So I believe that after you're healed spiritually, medicines will start working on you. Mom, is he going to pray for that to come back to us? Yes, we he will pray for him to come back to us. I miss him more. Even though we hate me, I love him No, I miss him too and I love him so much. But I know that soon everything will be fine and we'll give God all the glory and rejoice and be glad in his name. Good 
to see you. Long time. Um, good day. You don't recognize me anymore. It's Franca now. How come you don't recognize me? You know, you cease to be the Franca I used to know the moment you returned into Eric's life and broke his home. Really? I don't understand. How did I break his home? And why does Eric's life bother you so much? You want to know? Uh-huh. All right, I'll tell you. Because he's my best friend, whom you returned all of a sudden from the blues to spoil the unity and harmony that existed in his home. You're yeah, right. Peace and harmony indeed. What peace and harmony is there for a man who suffers in the hands of his wife and his ailing child? Tell me. Besides, I didn't plan for us to get back together the way we did. Fate just have, has a way of doing things, and I expected you of all people to understand. Franka, you're pathetic. No, really, you're very pathetic. No. I mean, what's there to understand for me, husband snatcher like you? Excuse you. Thank you for wrecking my friend's home, and I pray God will judge you very soon. Please excuse me. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father Lord, I commit this child into your hands, Lord. Father, I make a decree today that every sickness in her, I command that sickness to go out from her body in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, her body is the temple of Christ. Her body is not the, the place, a dwelling place for the devil. Father, every sickness, every infirmity is in her. Father, I say let them go out from her body in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said wherever two or three are gathered in your name, Father, you sing in our midst. Father, we know you are here. Father, I will say every sickness, anywhere the devil has come to take over this body, Father, no, the devil will never have this body. Let every sickness go back to the abyss where it comes from. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. 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 You are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Every sickness, I command you right now to go back to the abyss. This is not a dwelling place for you. This is a temple and the body of Christ. Let the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, let it come and dwell in her. Let the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, let it dwell in her. For that confirm your word in her life. Let it be so. Our healing shall remain permanent. Our healing shall remain permanent. She is delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness, go and never come back. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You have to caution this your daughter before she puts you into serious trouble. What are you talking about? Let me have the chocolate you just stole. Excuse me? Still. Now, why would you accuse my daughter of stealing? Let me just have the chocolate you just stole. See? You have a tip as a daughter. No, no, please. I beg you. I beg you. Please. please, please. I, I, I can pay for those right away. If you want. Can we just not escalate this, please? Let's let's not make a scene. I beg you. Please. Don't worry, it's fine. But that I don't know what saw me. So shut up! You thought no one saw you. Does that justify stealing? Huh? Why would you steal? Don't tell more, please. You disappoint me. You disappoint me after the conversations we've had. I, I let this be the last time I hear of you or even see you taking something that is not yours. You won't like what I'll do to you. I promise I won't do it again. You've been promising I'm failing. Let's go home. Please move. You've been promising. I, 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 I. God, what is happening to my daughter? When is this strange habit going to leave her? She can't continue like this. Things are even getting worse. For her to steal in a shopping mall, that shows that this kleptomania has heightened. Gosh, why me? I never taught her to steal. How is she so bold doing it? Even... Where did she learn it from? Where did she learn to lie boldly at people's faces even when the truth is glaring? God, 
please help me. Help me. I need her to stop. <sighs> mm, I feel better after the pastor's prayer. And, I mean, it feels like all the organs in my body are not functioning again. Are you serious? Wait, are you saying you no longer feel weak and the desire to vomit? No more. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Come here. <laughs> I'm so happy. That means the pastor is indeed a very powerful man of God. Mm -hmm. you know, honestly, this is the best news I've heard in a very long time. Mm -hmm. I think we need to take her to the hospital for proper examination. Yes, and I'm sure whatever drug the administrator to her will work. Definitely work this time. God is awesome. Definitely. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mo, well, are we going to tell Dad about it? Come here, baby. The part. The part. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? uh, You're staying the weekend, right? Nope. Why we? Well, I thought we have an agreement. I know we had an agreement, but Eric, the truth is, I'm getting a lot closer to you than I intended, and it's affecting me. How is it affecting you? You already know my resolve about marriage. But I'm not talking marriage here. I know you're not, but being here with you, it just sends the wrong signals, don't you think? And since when did you begin to bother your head about what people think of you? It's not what people think or don't think. That's not my issue. I, I'm just not comfortable, Eric. That's it. I'm just not comfortable. Even for a weekend? Eric. What? I'd rather you spend that in my place. Okay? That way, I'm more at peace. Please, try and understand. Huh? Oh, well, um... It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not mad at me? You know, you're the only woman who's brought so much smile and happiness to me in so many years, and I appreciate you for it. I am so thankful to God for you and Jasmine. I, I'm just so proud of my father, you know. Speaking of Jasmine, where is that destroyer? I wonder what she's going to do. Don't call my daughter names. So don't do that. <laughs> but I'm sure she's fine. She's probably downstairs watching Katsuma. I really hope that's all she's doing. She better not destroy something before we leave here. If she did, I'll replace it. Mm -hmm. right. Oh well, since um, you have just mentioned that you won't be staying for the weekend, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that, um, you know. What? What, what? What are you thinking? You know what I'm thinking. I have no idea what you're thinking. Well, you can't feel my heartbeat and know what I'm thinking. Well, you know what I'm thinking, baby. It doesn't say nothing. It doesn't say nothing, but I tell you what I'm thinking. Tell me. 
since you're insisting on leaving, I'm just saying we, we do we do one for the road. Eric, please don't tire me out. How am I tiring you out? That's what you're but you're the one who's trying to kill me. Man. No. Oh, did you see yourself? You were like a stallion. Seriously, we need to go check on Jersey. Well, I think I need to check you out first. You already did. Well, don't I you was, forget you were kind of in a hurry, though. I don't get tired. I've been wanting this so long. Well, from the results shows that her PCV is low. What is PCV? It's Dr. Staminology. Um, means fucked cells volume. It shows the level of the blood of a patient. Eh? And it's possible that the ulcer she has has enjoyed a vessel and she's bleeding into her stomach. Yes, that's the symptom she's having. Doctor, she also belches and vomits. Yes, that is awesome. Well, we give her drugs that will that can take care of that. And, um, I think she'll be okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Doctor. Did you find any other thing from the result? Oh no, but um, the result is making sense. Unlike before, uh, she's quite doing well, but. I think, uh, unlike before, when she was vomiting, she would be very okay. Doctor, please, I'm not sick anymore. I don't want drugs. You are correct, my dear little angel, but we need to get rid of that also. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You know you're a terrible child, Jasmine. You know you're very wicked. What have you gained now by destroying your father's car keys? What have you gained by leaving him stranded now? Like, does it make any sense? Eh? How many times will I tell you to keep those demonic fingers to yourself, but you just won't listen? Now you've destroyed this, you're happy now, Abby? I'm sorry. If you tell me you're sorry one more time, I will slap the taste out of your mouth. You're always sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Ah! Let me handle it, okay? It's fine. Jazz, I thought we had an agreement that you don't take what doesn't belong to you. Don't even touch it. That it's wrong. We agreed, right? I'm sorry, Dad. That's all you ever are. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Wait, let's get home. Hey. I'll deal with hey. you. Just wait. Do you not know that without the key, that he cannot ignite the car? Now the key is broken. You know, you've disappointed me. And I'm not happy about it. I didn't think it would break. I'm very sorry. I didn't think it would break. Don't worry. Let's get home. I will deal with you today. God, please save me. Hey, you're safe with me. Come on. <laughs> it's fine. Because we can help. Let's get home first. What are you doing here? Eric, how are you? Didn't even ask of your daughter. I will not ask you again. You know, just go ahead and do what you dragged me here for. I came to return our wedding ring. It reminds me so much of, of us and our daughter too. Your daughter? Fina. Not mine. I have no need for that thing. So I've just, you know, thrown it away. Why bother to come here? Huh? Because you took me to the altar when you put this on my hand. You looked straight in my eyes, made a vow, and put it on my finger. And that remains my biggest regret. But you did. What do you want from me? Take this back. Take it back so I can move on with my life. That's what you want, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's what I want. For you to free me, let me go. Well, if you think that this tiny piece of ornament would stop you from moving on. You know what? I'll free you. Let me have it. 
Can I have it? I set you free this morning. Alright, so now you can move on. You're free. Get out! Just as I anticipated. Really? Darling, you don't deserve this. Let's go. Let's get out of here. It's over. Leave this godforsaken house. Let's go. Come on. Sweetheart, you deserve more than this. You deserve better. Let's go. Out! Let's go. Like you can't do that. Let's go. that you tried your best. You can't kill yourself over a man that does not care. He just doesn't care anymore and that is the truth. I don't think I can ever come out of this and be Eric has really hurt me. You'll come out of it only if you wish to come out of it. The choice is yours. As adults, we should learn to accept the things we can't have or change and move on with our lives. But good news, a friend of mine just opened up a salon and she's looking forward to manage it for her. Yay! Are you serious? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wow. So it's time you practice your hairdressing skill. Leave Eric in the past and let him stay there. Okay? So what if he shows up begging? You know that will not happen. But let me not be pessimistic. But, ah, oh, we have a new manager in town. <laughs> so cheer up, girl, cheer up. I mean, we need to toast to this. Cheers to the new manager, to the future. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Cheer up, okay? You'll be fine. I'll try it. lost a lot of blood even before she was brought here. All our efforts to bring her back from the shop to support him. I don't understand. What does that mean? I mean, we lost her. You lost? You? 
You, you lost. Madam, calm oh. down. Calm down. <laughs> Doctor, you lost. Madam, calm down. Calm down. Doctor, it's not possible, Eric. You have something that you give my daughter, haven't you? <laughs> you are prepared for Doctor for me, Eric. Calm down. Why did you get out of the way for the ambulance? Doctor, I'm begging you. Just Doctor, me. please. My Jasmine cannot die. She can't die, Doctor. She's all I have. Doctor, just me is all I have. She cannot die. She may have died even if she come here earlier before now. I, mean, I don't believe that. Eric, you have killed my daughter, haven't you? You have killed my daughter. I don't even care how you do it, but Jasmine must come back. You should have gotten out of the way for the ambulance to move. I know, I know. But you're stuck there, Eric. And now she's gone. What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Jimo! <laughs> yes, we don't tell me to calm down! Don't tell me to calm down! Please. 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 Please, Franka, please. I know, I know, I know how you feel. Just, just take it easy. Just calm down, okay? Yes. Get out of my house. What? I said get out of my house! Yes, look, I know you're upset. Alright, just take it easy. I'm sorry. Alright? I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you and Jasmine in that ambulance. What does your apology do for me? What does it do for me? Does it bring back my daughter? I know it doesn't. It does nothing for me. I don't want to hear it. Get out of my house. I know, I know it doesn't bring her back. Get, get out of my house! I know, I know how hurt you are. I know how pained you are. But please, we still have each other. Okay? Look on the brighter side. I still have you. You still have me. We can start all over again. You must be very stupid. Have you not been listening to me? You're talking about starting over? Yes. You brought bad luck to my daughter and I and now she's no more. You're talking about starting over? You must be stuck out of your mind. Every get out of my house. Leave my house now! Okay, calm down. Just take a deep breath. All right? You're upset. <laughs> Okay, she's my child too, you know that, right? Please, just take it easy. We, we, we can go through. Eric, we can yeah. this is over. Get out of my house before I call the cops. No, it can't be over. Don't make me call the cops on me. It can't be over. All right. Eric, you're stressing me. Get out of my house! Calm down, alright? You're going to make a hasty decision because you're upset. Alright? You and I still care a lot about each other. I love you. You love me. What? You're going to throw all of that away? I already did. I already did. I don't want anything with you anymore. We are done! Eric, get out! You killed my daughter. What more do you want? Stop it. Stop what more do you stop want? Stop accusing me of her. Stop it. I didn't kill her. Stop it. Of course you did. If you wouldn't have been so stupid and stubborn to have stood in the way of the ambulance, she would have still been alive. And for that, Why did you get out of the way? I'm apologizing to you. Can you not hear me? I am sorry from the depths of my heart. Please forgive me. Let's walk through this together. I know you're hurt. But please. You have no clue what I'm going through. I know what you're going through. Eric, leave my house and never return. If you do not leave now, I'm going to call the cops. And I'm not even playing with you. Please don't do that. I'm going to call the cops if you don't leave. Please don't do that. She's my child too. You know that. I'm, I'm Eric, totally hurting. Eric, you're pushing me. You are pushing me. Get out of my house. Franca. Franca. Why me? Why is this misfortune following me everywhere I go? Lord, why? Just look at how I lost Franca, my precious little daughter. How oh, Jasmine? Jasmine is gone. Now the only person that I have in this world has rejected me. My world has come crumbling on my feet. How am I supposed to survive this? Oh, Fina, Fina, will she ever find it in her heart to forgive? I cost her so much pain. I cost her so much pain. 
I don't deserve her anymore. I don't think I do. Who else do I have besides Fina and Cleo? Who else do I have? Who? Eric, who else do you have? Nobody. You're just lonely, Eric. I just wish death can solve this problem. I'm tired. I'm tired. Sweetie, what is it? I thought you'd be happy that we're finally leaving Lagos. Enugu is a very beautiful place for us to stay. I'm not happy we're leaving Dad behind. Well, I'm not happy either, but honey, there really isn't anything I can do about it. I tried reconnecting with him severally, but his mind is already made up on us. Can't we go and stay with him? My stepmom and sister. Cleo, can we forget about daddy for now, okay? I'm sure you would love it in Enugu. You see, Auntie Ruby, my sister, she's been expecting us, she and her children. I pray I find it comforting. You will. Mother and child, we should leave now. Auntie, I'm going to miss you. Oh, sweetie. I'll miss you too. And I promise I'll come visiting, okay? Alright? Alright, let's go. I'm going to miss you all so much. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? What is this? I... I know how this looks. The truth is... I miss my family and... I'm here to apologize. <laughs> You're not serious. Get out of this place. Now! Get out of my house! Please, please, hear me out, please. Get out, please. Leave. Please, hear me out. Fina, please. Fina, please. Don't you understand? Get out of my house. Fina, please. I have a few things to say. Please, just hear me out. Please. Please, Fina, please. Please. Get out. Let's hear him out. What is it? I'm really sorry, Fina. Now I've done some terrible things to you. Things that I did not regret. Things, things. I'm sorry. Please. I failed you as a father, as a husband. As if I'm that Fina, I failed you. I know. I don't know what happened to me, but I just I was stupid. Why would I want to treat you that way? I'm sorry. I, I'm here hoping that you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. Please forgive me. I beg you, please. Please. What about the woman with the child to you? She lost each other and, and then told you that it, it's over between us. You see her? You see? Can you see why he has come back to you? He has suddenly lost everything and remember there's a Fina somewhere, right? No, that, that's not true. It wasn't intentional Fina. You, you know how much I love you. I don't know what happened to me. I was just frustrated. I was I was I was overwhelmed by anger and frustration. I don't I I, I can't I don't know what I was doing. No, please. I've tried. I've tried to live without you. It's not working. You can't forgive me. Please. 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 Your daddy. I know daddy is not in, in the position to, to ask you for anything right now, given the way I have treated you, but daddy misses you so much and still loves you. Please. If you give daddy another chance, 
I promise that I will take care of your medical bills. I'll go borrow it if, if that is what it takes. God has healed me, Dad. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm no longer sick. I'm all right now. And I don't remember the last time I experienced pain in my body. Are you serious? Please forgive me. God has finally wiped my tears and healed her permanently. Mom, please, I still need him. Please, I beg you. For the sake of fatherhood and for the sake of God, I beg you, forgive me. Please forgive me. Please, forgive me, please. Sweetheart, please. Please. Sweetheart, please. There's something I want you to do for us. Jesus name. Amen. Dear Lord, I pray for your son today. Father, now I ask that you wash his heart and make him as white as snow. Amen. Father Lord, everything that has defied him, Amen. everything evil that has defied him, Amen. Father, his mind, his thoughts, Father, his memory, Father, I wash him with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, I set him free from every bandage. I set him free, I set him loose from every bandage. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, fill him with the Holy Spirit so that he will continue to keep your commandments. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to give me your hands and I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come and have a place in my heart. Come and have a place in my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart. Wash my heart. Let it be as white as snow. Let it be as white as snow. All transgressions, all transgressions that I have committed, Lord, that I have committed, Lord. I pray for forgiveness. I pray for forgiveness. Everything that has defiled me. Everything that has defiled me. That has defiled my mind. That has defiled my mind. That has defiled my memory. That has defiled my memory. Especially the hate towards my family. Especially the hate towards my family. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are free now. The Lord has delivered you from every bondage. Go and remain home. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you, Lord. It's all over. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. 